What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another breaking video with another mega box. This time we got the Bowman Chrome Baseball 2021. I've seen a lot of people happy about this product this year. Not so much last year. I think last year's was a little, I don't know, just, I don't know, the fact that there was not much in the boxes. But I've seen a couple of videos of this and it's kind of, it's kind of similar. So, I don't know. I guess it's uh, maybe the the label on the box. I don't know. Who, who knows? But I do have a box here with me. Uh, just comparison size. It is a little, you know, taller than this one, of course. We can see that right off the bat. And, of course, the whole label's different. Um, pretty much the same as for the bonus pack. Uh, five, five card packs of 2020. So this one would be pretty much the same. And then we have, I don't think much has changed to be honest. I mean, I can see a lot of, a lot of identical stuff on here. We do have, let's see, so farm to fame. It looks like they actually removed those and they added instead the Bowman Ascensions insert. And that's pretty much it. I don't see much, nothing more. I mean, at least I'm, unless I'm actually missing something here, but. Here you go. You guys want to pause that? You can read it. So, all right. Let's take a look and see what I got from this. Bowman Chrome. Here we go. Actually, the prices are a little much, a little much more expensive this year, of course. So that's another another difference. And I have to get a new knife because this is not cutting well like it used to before. I've been with that knife since like, oof, I don't know, like 2011? It's been like 10 years. More than 10 years now, because I get it like in September of 2011. Oh wow, look at that. Star foam. I really, one thing that I hate is the sound of this. It irritates my ears, like I can't stand it. Let's just put it right there. And we have all that space. And I love the way they actually secure the cards. Look at that. Pretty nice. I mean, not only that, they also put the security code right there. <laughs> security code, I mean, uh... That's the sensor. Security sensor. Alright, here we go. So, let's see how many packs we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven packs. Two bonus ones right here. Alright, so this is pretty much going to be a lot of rookies, a lot of veterans, of course. Uh, like I said in earlier, you're not going to see a lot of um, first Bowman guys. I mean, last year I didn't see any first Bowman on those. I think this year they included like one or two of them. And the, uh, those uh, bonus packs, so. Alright, here we go. Joey Votto. Cody Ballinger. I was really hoping, you know, to see a Dodgers Astros World Series, but I mean, it's not going to happen, of course. I mean, at this point, it's just oh well. Glaber Torres. I'm really hoping, though, that the, um, the Braves beat the Astros. So that's what I'm hoping for. Then get a rookie right there. All right, let's put Bellinger right there. In the past, I used to like separate my um, my team my team cards pretty much. So Darvish, Joey Gallo, Joey Gallo, Austin Hayes, and we have a rookie, Andrew Vaughn. By the way, the intro in the video, it is actually the bookstore, so don't think that I got this mega box from a bookstore. <laughs> I actually got this mega box from Walmart. Um, the bookstore is actually called um, Chapters, or slash Indigo, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of, um, 
I don't know, they partner with, I don't know, a different company, I'm assuming. But it's either Indigo or Chapters, and uh, pretty much they have, you know, cards. Like, not all the time I've been told, like, from management from that store that they only bring them once a, once a year. Which is really strange, but it's not going to be your like your Barnes & Nobles, pretty much, so. That sucks. Tiller Termel Rookie. Christian Javier. Rookie card. Braylon Marcus. And a Cabrine Hayes. There it is. It's Mr. Hayes. Pretty nice. Got a few print issues. Print lines. See them up here. I mean, at this point, guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's always been print lines, but not. I mean, hardly noticeable, but not like. I don't know, not, not really excessive, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, I've seen some cards that look really bad. You can really tell right off the bat, there's a huge print line. Alejandro Kirk. Rookie card. Dalton Varsho. Mound Castle, pretty nice. Got my homeboy Jesse from... Rip City cards playing in the background. Forgot to mute the <laughs> uh, the life break. Luz Garcia. I mean, there's not a break going on right now. I mean, it's been super slow. Like, and we we're just talking about this earlier. I mean, breakers are. Um, I mean, it's it's not like it was before. You know, not it's not getting a lot of attraction due to the demand and the prices. I mean. Just um, it seems like you know we get like last people, and of course, I mean we get our regulars. I mean I'm a regular there. Uh, we chat a lot of the time, uh, most of the time. But um, like before, I mean they used to get at least what like 20, you know maybe 25, 15, 20 people, and most of the day now is just like I don't know they get maybe 10, maybe less, less people watching. So. It is, it is a little tough, you know, even the big breakers out there. I mean, there's some that, um, that were like at topping 250, 200, and now it's like down to 40, 50 people most of the time, so. Alright, Jess Chisholm. William Contreras. Uh, I said that really bad. William Contre Contreras. There you go. Much better. Tanner Hawk. Nick Madrigal and a high song came I think I pronounced I probably butcher the first name but a lot of rookies guys I mean wow look at that a lot of rookies including uh, Mr. Brian Hayes got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen rookies I mean if any of these guys don't break out you know in the next I don't know three four years and I don't know what to tell you guys I mean one of them's got to break out maybe one or two we'll have to see all right here's the uh, the mojo packs got Nick Gonzalez this looks sick they always look good I mean I do have a Shohei Otani mojo pretty sure Rookie car that is from 2018. I mean, 2018. I bought a lot of Bowman Chrome and a lot of um, a lot of Bowman. I mean, there was just so much that I was actually buying, just you know, hunting down Otani. So it's not even funny. Nolan Gorman we got a green Mick Abel number 299. Pretty cool. We have Miguel Amaya and Austin Wells. All right. This is probably the pack is going to have the autograph. I mean, you're not really guaranteeing an autograph, but you never know. I mean, I've seen quite a few videos and people have pulled autographs, so maybe I'll get one. Okay, so we have a first Spellman, Manuel Beltre. Pretty nice. Got a Gilberto Celestino for Spellman. Dawn of Glory, alright, so I'm not gonna get a an autograph. 
Headbird uh, Perez. Next card is going to be Ronnie Mauricio. And the last card, Asa Lacey. So, not bad at all. I'm really happy with all the rookies, to be honest. I mean, I thought I was going to get less rookies in this, but a ton of rookies and a little bit of color. I mean, not too much. Get a couple of first Bowmans in here, which are going to be mostly going to be in the second pack. So, there you have it, folks. That's going to do for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to appreciate you guys for watching. I have another video to make, and that is going to be the Chronicles Basketball. I'm not sure if I'm going to drop that tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'll do it tomorrow. And uh, I'll upload it tomorrow, but uh, I didn't want to, you know, just uh, kind of wait until the uh, later on. Because what happened is that uh, I was supposed to get those boxes, uh, when was it, this past weekend? For some reason, um, I don't know, they just never showed up, and then they left until Monday, so which was yesterday. So here we are. Alright, so that's going to do it for today, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take it easy.